Greetings and salutations, people. I am back, and I'm going to do something a little different this time. I'm doing another review. A book review. One I did four or five years ago. I needed something to do for a video. A look back. And oh, there's that book review I wrote ages ago. Right there on my live journal. So, why not translate it into something a bit more vocal? The book in question is... The Collected Tomes of The Chronicles of Malice Darkblade, Volume 1. First three books in the translation of the Black Library's comic series, Darkblade, transferred into the written text, and of course taking some liberties with it to translate into into a book as such. First of all, just who is Malice Darkblade? The status, Malice Darkblade is a Dark Elf of the Warhammer Universe. Who are the Dark Elves? For comparison, let's say we take the general the general theme of the Vinter Empire from the Dragon Age. Slavery, power, treated in other lowers as scum. That lot. And combine it with the malice and general self-entitlement that comes with the YouTube comments. And you get close to what we get with the Dark Elves. Dark Elves in this universe a vain, narcissistic, prideful, got a serious superiority influence, they're sadistic, and they will spit on anyone and they think he's lord of themselves, which is generally everyone else. Dark elves, rule supreme, anyone else, you're not even lower class. Yet scum to be used and abused. So here we go, we got an entire entire series based upon one individual of this despicable race. Now, of course, since this is a Black Library production, it will be graphically violent and far from family friendly. This isn't going to be for everyone. Unfortunately, my view, view of the Black Library to books is is fantasy trash, pretty much. Another series I can mention is the Gotex and Felix novels. The problem is. Those books are pretty much the same thing every bleeding time. Manus takes things a little differently. I'm just going to work from the review I originally wrote, so let's work from that, shall we, and expand, shall we. Containing the first three books of the Dark Blade story, there was originally a graphic novel. We learn of the Dark Elf, Manus Dark Blade. He's a cruel, cunning, ruthless, and utterly a prime example of this evil race. Manus is tricked and finds his very soul at risk. If he's unable to complete this lot of task of recovering five relics and being a demon prince within one year. Now if you think I'm giving away too much information, I am not, as this is pretty much what is written on the back of the book. First of the books is Demon's Curse, where we learn of the events that led Manus to be strike, striking a deal that got him stuck in his very unfavourable situation. Now while the graphic novel only covered the events very prior and to the bit, bit where he got sh had to make a deal with the demon. This covers way back, possibly years, where he's basically introduced as a very unwilling commander for a slave raid. Not because he's got any morals or anything, he just doesn't want to do it. And it turns out this whole slave raid is a means just to get rid of him. He is the unwanted, unwanted son, fathered only for as part of a deal to have a uh, Dark Sorceress alliance to a particular ruler. Malus is never wanted, he's hated, Dark Plague is, as a, as a name, is an insult. Overall, for... I'm not really going to go into much of this since I did before, no, nothing really much sticks out of the book. It's overall, for the beginning of the series, it's nothing special and rather bland as fantasy trashy novels go. Manage is cunning, manage is violent, violent, he gets his way up to the point, up to the final point where he's struck by the demon. Had to complete the tasks. And in doing so, rather than share his shame, he murders his, his routine, his, uh, his companions at the time. Why, as I said before, Dark Elves are vain and arrogant. He did not want them to seem like this. He has fallen from power. Oh, I may add to begin with this. This little quest 
about five, five, four or five chapters in, begins because he's trying to deal, working with his sister to raid his brother's tower. Well, it's just a relic. A relic that, would, that led him to the demon. He had no choice in this. The sister set it up, and he's the one who took the fall. Second book is Bloodstorm. Now, here is where things get a little strange, really, for, this, for a Black Library novel. Here the story picks up where, rather surprisingly enough, Malice isn't fighting every chapter. In fact, we get a bit, big, big introduction to the plot politics for the Dark Elves, mainly particularly for this one family. Malice has a very unpleasant task of trying to track down the second relic, but to do it, he needs a fleet, and his brother's a, a fleet captain, a fleet admiral. He has to go to his father to get his boon, and to do this, he comes with the plot of ridding themselves of certain pirates. If I remember correctly, they are chaos worshipping pirates that go by the name of the Skin Flayers. Very pleasant people, people that are, uh, yeah, they are a major problem to the Dark Elves and they're raiding. Now, this isn't exactly as bleak as all things go. One of the major improvements with this this one is we get an introduction to one of the uh, Dark Blade's retainers, whose name, uh, Halico, oh, I can't pronounce it. There's no names I can't pronounce in here. But he brings with it some comical relief. It breaks the darkness, breaks the tension and all that lot. It brings that need of humour to it. We get a far more involved story with this when Malice does his, does what he does best, and that is his cunning and treachery put to the task to best further his own goals through politics, through violence, through tricky and all that lot. In the end, he has he does achieve his task and and as an added bonus he managed to kill kill his admiral brother. Now finally for this first three pack, we have the Reaper of Souls. And dear God, this is the darkest of the trio. Now Manus not only has to deal with covering the third relic, but has to deal with the the events events the conclusions from before in the first two books. Malice loses everything in this. He loses the relic at first because he's actually used against him by his guardians that would have actually killed him outright had it not been for the Demon King intervening to keep his host, keep him alive. He loses it to someone else, more Dark Elves who did raid in, raided the place. He goes after him, kills everyone. How, how not before the alarm is raised and he's forced to flee. I can't exactly recall if he has the relic or not, not so he gains it at the end of the story. It's, the simple fact is, Malice led down a very dangerous path where he has to turn to a uncle, I believe, or uncle or stepfather, I can't recall. That, and a character actually appears in the second graphic novel, kind of mixing things up, introducing the back history. And it turns out Malice is used by, a, by a, another sister, actually I believe he's the sister that sends him down this path, who's now using him as a weapon to get back at High Grief, which is their home. It's very dark, very depressing, and Malice is uh, way out of his depth in this one. He's doing the best he can, and it's just not working out for him. Eventually, he does break free, and if I recall right, his own mother confesses to him that he was set up at the start. She was responsible for, responsible for killing the previous uh, High Greek le uh, leader's wife, crippling another of, of the sons, who by all rights should be dead because he's a male sorcerer when, when Dark Elf law only females are allowed to be, and she basically arranged for Malice to encounter this demon. I can't remember the such details, this is an old review. Malice has no other choice. After all those events, he has to flee. Overall, an interesting take on the on the story set down in the graphic novel, both fletching it out and chasing it away to raising regards to give a more fully complete story. If you're a fan of the Warhammer world universe, if you're a fan of the Warhammer world and all the main characters who are not in the least remotely righteous about this, then 
the Lonely Righteous about the canon set down in the comics? Gee, I found this back. Then these are definitely worth a look. And uh, definitely had me looking around for the last two books. However, I will put it, put it simply, Malice is not a hero. Malice is an, atali- an antagonist. Opportunist and sadistic. Dark Elves are pretty much the definition of evil. If you want to want a series that takes you away from the normal goody goody sort type things. Want the best of all things. This ain't for you. If you want a scumbag main character who's out for himself and all that lot. This may be for you. So this is me making a mockery of this. Later all.